live press conference. I'm used to doing them on Zoom, but we are back. Fight Camp begins this Saturday, live on Sky Sports, live on The Zone across America as well. We've heard all the, the puns. It's Matrim Square Garden, it's Weekend at Hernies, whatever you want to call it. But the truth is, what an opportunity for these fighters. What an opportunity for our sport. I've seen other people come back, studios, empty casinos, great, and we credit them. We are different. We wanted to make a bang, we wanted to make an impact, we want to show you how great the sport of boxing is. This time you're going to hear everything. You're going to hear pin drops around the houses and the grounds of Matrim HQ. You're going to hear the punches land to the ribcage. You're going to hear the fighters wincing in agony. You're going to hear the fighters talking to each other, the referee's instructions, and you're going to hear the dialogue between the corner team when it gets really, really tough. But the world has changed in the last few months and may have changed forever, and maybe it's changed our sport forever, but we are back and what an opportunity for these guys. Maybe this is how it's gonna be for the next couple of weeks, maybe this is gonna how, how it's gonna be for the next couple of months. But what I do know is Fight Camp has changed the dynamics of boxing. The pandemic has changed the dynamics of boxing because now fighters are stepping up quicker. They're realizing they have to take their opportunity. The younger fighters coming through are realizing they have to step up, particularly against British talents. Here we have two guys in Jordan Gill and Reese Bellotti who were probably due to have six round fights to come back and get their careers back on track. We spoke to both individuals, we said this is a chance for Fight Camp to explode, do you want to be a part of it? They both grabbed the opportunity, 10 rounds in the featherweight division against two guys that, you know, quite honestly I like a lot. You know, and we're coming up to a stage now in the sport of boxing where we're going to see this a lot putting our fighters in together in fights that we believe will give value for money for fans and broadcasters. These guys were flying. Jordan Gill headlined at Peterborough, sold a huge amount of tickets, beat Dominguez, and then it all came crashing down against Tonoko. Reese Bellotti the same, selling so many tickets, ramming out your call, and then of course lost to Ryan Doyle. They've come back, but this Saturday, they've got the opportunity to completely transform their career, take the limelight, and move on to the major, major championship fight. So, guys, thank you for taking the fights. Thank you to Jimmy Mack and the team, and Dave Colwell as well. Jordan, I'll start with you. That is some barnet. Unbelievable. I told you in the contract you've got to keep that hair. I have to admit, I think next year, next week, you might have to just get a little trim on it, but you're in tremendous shape, and what a, a privilege, I guess, an honour, an opportunity to kick off fight camp on Saturday night. Yeah, it's a huge opportunity for me and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. It's part of history. It's something we might never see again. So thanks for having me and uh, I'm glad you like the barnet. But it's going to have to go at some point. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure when, but it's going to go at some point. And uh, it's a fight that I'm looking forward to. Uh, when Dave rang and said, you know, you're going to be fighting behind closed doors. Uh, your show was the first one cancelled, so you've got the first opportunity to come back. Um, the name that they said first was Reese Blotty, will you fight? And I said, yeah, no problem, it's going to be a good fight. And uh, a fight that I think everyone's going to look forward to. How's this experience been for you? I mean, I came into the bubble yesterday, it's quite mind-numbing, if I'm being honest. I mean, you live that regimental lifestyle anyway, so I guess it's not too much different. But you're not getting to see the venue. You can see all the pictures coming back from Instagram. It looks sensational. But how's this whole experience been for you, being inside this bubble, so to speak, and knowing that on Saturday when you arrive at the HQ, you're going to see it for the first time and it's going to be some sight. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, from what I've seen on, online, it looks amazing. and uh, I think you've done a great job. And like you said, you've separated yourself from the rest, the Frank Warrens and, and the top ranks. So, you know, congratulations. <laughs> it is, mate. We'll talk about the fight in a bit. Reese, over to you as well. I've never seen anyone. I mean, actually two guys who are physically 365 days of the year in incredible shape. You are one of them. I was looking at your six pack on Instagram uh, this morning while you were playing Mario Kart with Jimmy. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I can relate to that. But um, the the fight itself, Reese, obviously, you come off a great fight in Italy. I think probably kicking yourself a little bit from that performance because you could have gone maybe a gear or so up, and I think you believe you could have won that fight. But again, these are the opportunities you've got to take, and a great start to fight camp, kicking it off as the first fight. Yeah, no, exactly that. Like you said, uh, didn't perform to my best in Italy. It kind of is what it is. You don't look too much back on it and with excuses and things like that. It is what it is on the night. Um, and like you say, I got the offer for Jordan Gill. I thought it was a great fight for me uh, to propel myself back up to where I want to be. Obviously, when people are analysing this fight, and you've heard it you know, dozens of times before, it's 
Jordan Gill may be technically better, but Reese Bellotti carries that power. He's always dangerous in that fight. Is that as, as clear as this fight is? Or have you got to be a little bit cuter? Or are you looking to walk Jordan Gill down and try and stop him? Yeah, like listen, like you say, everyone's got their opinions on it. But like I say, I've carried a power. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that Jordan doesn't punch hard. You know what I mean? Just because his record doesn't show it doesn't mean he doesn't punch hard. He's he, like I say, on his performances, definitely looks technically better than me. But on the night, we both turn up with different different game plans. In terms of this fight, I think you know at championship level could be your last roll of the dice, if you like. I know you haven't been in the game that long, but you have had a number of championship fights. Do you feel the pressure to make sure you win this fight and to leave absolutely everything at the ring at fight camp on Saturday? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Like you say, I'm going to leave everything in there that, uh, on the night. If if uh, Gil comes out the winner, I'll put my best performance I can on that night. Jordan, obviously, again, people analysing this fight, I think it's pretty straightforward, really, isn't it? We know about the car the power that Reese Bellotti carries, you said in, in uh, Matrim uh, Boxing YouTube build-up that you believe he carries world-class power as well. Something you've got to be wary of in this fight as well, because there's a huge amount on the line for you. Yeah, 100%. Everything's on the line for us both. And I think that's what make, makes this fight so important, so interesting for everybody involved. So I've got to be aware. I've got, to, Like you said, like I said he's got world-class power, and I, I believe that he's got 12 knockouts out of 14 wins. And um, he will be looking for them big shots, and I've got to make sure that I avoid them big shots. And uh, we'll see on the line. Well, we cannot wait. The first fight of fight camp, 10 rounds in the featherweight division. Jordan Gill against Reese Bellotti. It's the perfect way to kick off fight camp. Two great fighters, two great guys with everything to prove on Saturday. Guys, we're going to have a quick head to head up here now before we pass over to Chris and Darren. Please take your marks. Going mass on or off? Off the spot. Place the camera on the front, please. Thanks, guys. I think they're going to do Sky. I'm that way. First, please stand on the line. Well done, guys. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys.